Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to a new Q&A. Haven't done one of these in a while, but I like doing them. As I've always said, like my little catchphrase is, you know, when I wasn't a YouTuber and, you know, I had a question for somebody that I watch, I, you know, you can't really get them answered. And uh, I, I offer myself sometimes for these Q&As and, you know, the likelihood of you getting an answered question from me is higher than probably other YouTubers because I do this. So I will say today's episode is a Instagram special. I thought I may as well plug my Instagram. I have never really done anything with it. So I'm going to try and use, you know, a little bit more. Um, so it's just Huzzy Games. Go f feel free and follow. And I will say as a small incentive, the up upcoming league partner uh, package is going to be Papercraft and Nivea. I will be giving out some exclusive codes over on my Instagram when I get the hand my hands on the codes. So yeah, go follow. Uh, but today we're getting the questions from there. So the first one is, how do I think League can become less toxic and glad I'm feeling better? Thank you very much again of me recording this. I am my sixth day in a row that I haven't thrown up, so it feels great. Um, but how could League become less toxic? Um, I, I really don't think you're going to get the toxic mentali mentality out of people, really, no matter what you do. Even if you offer rewards, I, th I think people are just a certain way. So the only real way that I've always kind of seen it is you do one of two things. You either punish people more or you come up with an alternate punishment other, other than permabanning, because all those people do. They get permabanned because they're probably like addicted to League. They make a new account and they're just toxic on that account instead of the other one. Um, so my idea would, you know, I'm fine with permabanning people, but if they wanted to go a different route... Again, just have it as, like, toxic queue. They have low priority queue for people that always DC or AFK. Why don't you have a toxic queue that everyone who has under on a level 2 or something, because you start on a level 2, you're only playing with other people that are on a level zero one, one And on a level 0 or on a level 1, you're all banded together. Then people that are normal get normal games, like... That, to me, would be a no-brainer. It just kind of depends if the League player base is big enough, which, considering how big the League player base is and how many people are toxic, I reckon it would be. But even if it's if it dampens the experience from toxic people that they get longer queue times, then that's not a bad thing. They're being toxic. So, yeah. What TV shows do I recommend? Um, Depends what you're in the mood for, if I'm honest. Um, Again, I, I recommended The Last Vikings. Um... No, Last Kingdom, sorry. Last Kingdom a little while ago. And a lot of people said thanks for that because it's great. Um, Obviously, Vikings is similar to that. Game of Thrones, if you've not seen it. Uh, I'm trying to make my way through The Punisher Season 2 at the moment. Um, I don't know why, but every single time I get in bed, I'm like, right, Punisher time. And I just don't. I just watch YouTube and then end up falling asleep. So I need to watch that. Um... But to be honest, there's nothing massively on my radar. Again, all these shows on Netflix, the Marvel ones, are getting cancelled. It literally confuses me why people are getting confused about them getting cancelled. Uh, we literally know there's a Disney version of Netflix coming probably at the end of this year. Because we know that Jon Favreau is making a Star Wars TV series that is going to be exclusively on there. We know that Tom Hiddleston is doing a Loki series that is going on there. So why are people surprised that they're, they're, they're getting rid of Punisher, Jessica Jones and that when Disney's bringing out a rival service to Netflix? It's like, well, duh. Like, if anything there could be a chance for them to just bring Punisher over, maybe. But it seems Disney and uh, Marvel are going through the deep end of going and going, uh, let's not bring the C-list characters, Punisher, Jessica Jones. Let's make a series about Loki. Let's do a series with Scarlet Witch and Vision. That's another series. Like These are already announced, I think. Uh, and let's do a Star Wars series on our own service. Ten bucks a month. It's our own Netflix. That's what the world is turning into, is those kind of services. So... Don't be surprised. All right, next one is what I consider. Uh, would you consider me to leave League? I, I think the question is, would I consider to leave League? Um, well, obviously, eventually that's going to happen. I can't play League for my whole life. Um, I've played the game now nearly 10 years and it's still my favorite game. You know, when I'm in bed and I'm like, oh, I really feel like playing a game. Nine times out of 10, that's League of Legends. So I still have the burning, you know, in me that I want to keep playing it. But eventually that fire, the burn, will slow down. It's inevitable. Um, 
but I don't see that happening in the time that I'm a YouTuber streamer. Like, I, I really don't. Unless they balls it up completely. Which, you know, Riot have had a good go of it. You know, Season 6 Dynamic queues, Season 9 Roll Ranked. But, you know, if they don't do anything major to the gameplay, because it's the gameplay why I play the game, then I don't see myself quitting anytime soon. Like, hell, even if I, you know, in a couple of years go become a pilot or whatever I'm deciding, I probably will still play League in my off time in my spare time it's my favorite game after all um but obviously i will say of, of that because people have asked questions there may be even some here um basically the the plan is i am going to be delaying becoming a pilot by the looks of it and i am potentially going to be looking to buy my first property uh in the next couple months i'm going to start looking probably next month and it, we're at the end of february now march april is when i'm going to start looking and yeah actually buy a house or apartment not rent um because obviously i've been saving money to become a pilot and i'm just going to put those savings instead of becoming a pilot you all know or a lot of you know how expensive that is instead of becoming a pilot i put that to a house because you know i can become a pilot when i'm 30 years old we have family friends that became pilots at 30 i'm 24 right now but if i can get my foot in the door in the housing market at 24 25 years old that's pretty good so yeah so i there will be many more years of me being a youtube streamer and thank you very much for the continued support the channel and everything is in great health at the moment and the income is on very much the rise which is awesome and it's been i'm gonna say it's been great the last few months so thank you very much uh will the a to z champion thing come back nope uh there are certain champions of the league that i literally have absolutely zero interest in in playing and when i was forced to do them they just weren't good episodes so it's just better if i don't uh you know the iron to diamond we're playing a very big range of champions and we'll cover probably most of the champions in the game by the time that series is done so yeah uh why did i throw up or you know how did i stop so yeah what, what is with my illness i haven't really gone into detail about it so the answer is i i've never really known uh, again i went to doctors and they never really did anything um i was occasionally put on tablets that helped for a couple of weeks but then apart from that it wasn't a cure uh what basically was different this time i went to a specialist about gastrology i think is a specialist field is um and he very quickly kind of determined what he thinks it was and it was kind of it was confirmed in two ways one my father has the same thing has had the same thing uh, so it was like mm, you know there's a weakness in the family there uh, but secondly, he actually gave me a tip to stop throwing up. So I've not been put on any medication, um, but I haven't thrown up for six days. And you might be like, huh? The only thing that he recommended me to do, and I'll say, if you are somebody like me that, you know, throw up every morning, it could be phlegm, bile, acid, you know, it's not great. Um, he recommended me to, this is not sponsored, get Gaviscon. So this is Gaviscon, and all it is is a heartburn and indigestion a drink that you just take a little sip whenever you're feeling it and i don't take this a lot all i do is take a basically a sip before i'm about to go to sleep and i've done that now for nearly the last week and i've not thrown up once and he said in that meeting that i had last wednesday if i try this and it works and i don't throw up anymore or you know it's a lot better and it's i haven't thrown up at all he basically is convinced it's what I have, and that is called GERD. Um, that's the anacronym for it. I can't remember the exact, what's it literally called? Uh, but it's something, to, it's like a reflux thing. Um, too much acid is getting produced or something. And again, it's nothing to do with being overweight or anything. It's, it's just a thing like you have. Uh, I don't know what exactly the cure is, but um, yeah. So this is what I'm doing for now. I actually bought three of these big bottles that I just always have it on hand. And again, I'm not taking much. I'm literally just going Guk, just before I sleep. And, you know, there's no negatives to it. And it's just stopping me throwing up, which it elevates my mood. I've actually been feeling happier the past week. And maybe you've been able to see that in the videos recently. So that that's the that's the, about the illness and basically what what i'm moving forward to is you know this isn't me now from now on uh, i'm in the next weeks um having the camera go down my throat and all the way into my stomach and everything and they basically can confirm and they then an action plan will be set into place of what is going to be done if it can be medicated if it needs surgery my dad had to have surgery so we'll see we shall see but yeah the the the, the fact that i just don't have to throw up every day is amazing 
Um, what is my favorite department in Riot and would you work for them? Uh, my favorite department, what, well, if we combine the two, um, my favorite department is simply uh, the community. That's the department I'd like to. You know, my background, my degree and everything is game design. Uh, for those who don't know, I've got a computer science degree specializing in game design. Uh, I know three coding languages and stuff like that. But um, community is where I think my passion would be. You know, the players of League, doing things for them, talking to them, seeing what they think and putting that to the designers of the game. I think that would be somewhere that I could excel because I'm without being big headed um i've been a big player of league i feel that i could talk to the league player base quite well that's what i'm doing literally right now to you guys and because of my game design background i could word the change that the player base wants to the design teams really well because i've got a game design background so that's probably the dream but you know meh um slightly controversial question that we'll just very briefly answer because i don't want to offend anybody but just someone says what are my reasons for not believing in god um again if you don't know i'm an atheist uh if you're not that's fine um as long as you're somebody that doesn't push your own beliefs on other people like i'm not going to do but the simple reason for me is i'm somebody that is evidence-based in my life if i can't see something evidence-wise i don't believe it um full stop so that's pretty much that so yeah again i don't want to offend anybody so we'll move on uh will i start to play kale in my climb to master series with the rework i guess um it depends if she's good you know we, we, a lot of people kind of look at those reworks and kind of go damn she's op she might not be people looked at silas and thought he was going to be broken people looked at nico thought she was going to be broken and they're not um you know riot do obviously make those champions look good specifically in those videos to sell the champion you know if someone hasn't bought kale they might buy it from watching that video for example maybe you know i've always liked kale she's not too different she's potentially very strong in the late game because she actually has true damage at level 16 which i didn't even realize um but obviously has a weaker early game but i am i wouldn't say i'm known but recently you guys have been seeing me play late game champions anyway that i keep saying oh just hold out to late game that's what Kale is going to be. I'm already used to doing that. So possibly. Um, Lee. Wait, why did I choose League as my job? I didn't. <laughs> That's the thing. I didn't choose League as my job. It just happened. Uh, I stand by the principle that pretty much 99% of content creators that are successful enough to do it for their job didn't mean for it to become their job. Uh, whenever I get people say to me, I had one on stream the other day and he was quite annoying. And he was like, how much do you make? I want to quit my job. I'm going to be a streamer. It's like, oh my God, like you're never going to make it if that's you ever, because it's too obvious you're in it for money. I, I have, I'm not, I'm not in this for money. Like it's my job now. So obviously money helps. But when I was started the first three years of me doing this, I basically made nothing. It was, it's not why I did it. Uh, you know, you'll basically hear every successful YouTuber quote that saying they made nothing for the first few years because they didn't do it for that. You know, when people say all the time, oh, what's your advice to become a YouTuber streamer? Have fun. That's it. Don't expect anything and have fun. If it becomes something, then bonus. That's what happens to people that get there. But, you know, even though people may not see me as a massive YouTuber, which I'm not, um, but in comparison to average, I am. I, I, my income and stuff, all I'll say is very comfortable. It's it's a lot higher than it would be if I were to go get a job with my degree. Again, what I can compare myself to are my friends who, you know, graduated the same year as, as me. I, let's just say I'm earning basically triple what they are. Um, and I do this for fun, basically. Like, that's the weird thing. I still, yes, it has job elements to this. You know, I have to have meetings. I've got to do my own accountancy stuff. I've got to do sponsorship stuff. But the day-to-day -day stuff, it doesn't really feel like a work. You know, when I'm playing League, it's fun. You know, then the editing is a bit boring. The thumbnailing is a bit boring. The tags, the ads, that's boring. But the, I actually get to play, which is which is cool. Um, and obviously, I will say doing League for my job has dampened how much fun I have in it, for sure. Like, I guarantee most of you probably have more fun in League than I do because I have the pressure of it being my job. You guys don't. Um, but again, I, I like what I do a lot, obviously. But I didn't choose it. Um, bu 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 why don't I send gifts in Pokemon Go? Because that would show where my nearby locations are. And I don't really want to do that. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, do I, so the picture that I had on Instagram, which if you follow it, you'll see I had headphones on in bed and I was like, hey, I just got into bed, not feeling sick. Let's do a QA. and a um, No, I don't sleep with my headphones, but they're wireless. So when I go to bed, all I do is turn one of my monitors to the bed, get into bed and I continue watching things. Uh, Netflix, uh, Crunchyroll, whatever, YouTube. Um, so, yeah, I have my headphones on a lot <laughs> and they're really handy. Um, again, very much recommend these. Steel, again, if you're unaware, I broke my other pair by accident. Uh, Steel Series, who's a sponsor of this channel, sent me out a pair very quickly. These are the Arctis Pro Wireless. They're like 300 bucks, but they're the best headset I've ever had. Again, you'd probably expect that for 300. Uh, if you're in the market for a crazy good gaming headset, yeah, I recommend it. You can use my link down below if you're interested, but yeah. Uh, what is it like to be able to grow facial hair? Both good and bad, I guess. You know, I'd like if I could lock in a facial hair and then it just never grows again. That would be great. I like having a beard, but like right now, this is really messy. So I've got to go shave it and blah. It's annoying. But yeah, it's good. Um, um, what do you do when you're in a game and you're getting absolutely trounced and nothing you do is working out except the loss? Sometimes, you know, that's sometimes the healthiest thing to do. You know, you can get tilted by having an absolutely terrible game and, you know, winning. And sometimes you can turn around games. I'm not saying you can't, but if, if it is like 100% a loss and everybody knows when that does happen, it's okay to just go, ah, oh, we lost. You know, that's fine. Move on to the next game. That's why I'd never get when people say, I never surrender in ranked. You must tilt yourself a lot if you never surrender in ranked. Holy moly. Um... What was the champ that made you fall in love with League? Doesn't exist. Uh, I've never been somebody that's been too attached to only one champion. Uh, you know, there will be people who quote, or oh, Huzz, your Rengar, or your Lee, your Vi. But those were, all, if you if you kind of remember, whenever I play champions, I'm always playing 10 other champions too. I, I've never been bonded to one. I, th I would find that weird. And again, that's it's the basic reason why I don't get one tricking. So, yeah. Um, what type of music do I listen to and what's my favourite song piece of music I listen to a lot of a different range if you watch my stream one day we'll have Disney songs on the next we'll have shows like Les Mis or Moulin Rouge then we'll have just modern music then we'll have metal then we'll have country then we'll have rap like I, I, I like music pretty much um so yeah, and my favorite, I'd say I don't. It's hard to pin a favorite, but I, what I will d defer this question to is if I could pick any band to go to a concert to, who would I go watch? And I will say I've never been to a musical band uh, a concert, and I know a lot of people are gonna go, "Whoa!" Just never have. Um, Mumford and Sons. That would be my band of choice to go to a concert to. Would be Mumford and Sons. And potentially is the last question. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. Never mind. Uh, but another question is, happy to hear you're doing better. What is my favorite food and meal and drink, both alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and best snacks for workouts and or gaming? So that's a lot about food. Uh, I know quite a lot about food uh, for obvious reasons. Um, but I will say just about the fitness thing. Recently, I got out of the fitness. Things just in life got a bit too mental, as you have heard. Uh, but I'm I'm doing better, you know, six days without throwing up. You know, it, it is it, my mental is getting better. Physical is getting better. I am planning to be back in the gym on Tuesday. If I can, I'll try and do a car vlog, um, but I'll have to find the camera and everything, the, the GoPro. But um, we are going to get back into it and I am going to begin the proper diet again very soon. But I, I haven't really gained. I think I've gained in my couple weeks off of the gym i think i've gained two pounds back that's not terrible for having kind of like a dip um and they happen especially with everything going on in my life right now uh but yeah what was the question my favorite food meal and drink um so believe it or not i'm not a big alcohol person uh, i actually went recently probably for about two or three years without having any alcohol at all i just don't see the need in it i am never going to be somebody that drinks to get drunk but to me that's barbaric um to me it would have to complement like what's going on um and i'd never be pressured to drink uh it has happened that you know there's been a family occasion hey you know hey have a beer i'm like i'm okay and you get pressured a bit but you know no thanks 
the basic reason is I find a lot of alcohol tastes like garbage. Um, and why drink something that tastes bad when I could have, you know, I don't know, a Diet Coke or a Coke Zero. That's the basic principle. Um, I just don't like the taste. But I will say very occasionally recently, and it might be because of the, the stress that's been happening, I've actually been having a gin and tonic. Um, so really that is the only alcoholic drink I've had in the last few years so I'd probably have to say my favorite alcoholic drink is probably a gin and tonic um, and then as for that other things you know yeah I like my I, I've literally and I know a lot of people go as you said you know you're getting back into health I do have a Dr Pepper here I'm sorry um, they're good uh, as for food uh, I like Mexican food I like Chinese I like barbecue I like Korean barbecue I like Indian I like Thai food I like British food. I like food, you know. Again, you wouldn't get like this if you didn't like food. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, food. All right, let's continue. Uh, I've got to load more questions, apparently. Here we go. It's loading. Again, the annoying thing, where I am in the, the house, my bedroom is the opposite side of the house to so the wireless router. So my computer's fine because it's a wired connection, but everything else is so slow. My phone, my laptop, everything's slow. Because it's so far away. Um, oh, hiccups. Ugh. Any advice for the initial learning curve for a new player? The initial learning curve for League of Legends is very, very steep. Um, my advice, without sounding crazy, would be give yourself an hour that you just go on the League of Legends wiki and you just read through all the items in the game. Just so you know what they all do vaguely. You're not going to get it all in one. But you're like, if you're in game and you recognize, oh, Sp Spirit of Visage. Oh, I remember reading about that. Spirit of Shoujin. I remember reading about that. Oh, Phantom Dancer. That's the attack speed thing that gives a shield now. I remember reading about that. That would help you a lot. Then you can do the same thing with champions if you really want. Um, again, I've always said the reason why I've, you know, wait after you hit level 30, you shouldn't touch ranks for basically a year sole reason for that is to play as many normal games as you can in that year to experience every champion in the game not play it but i mean play against it you know try and play as many as you want but sure but play against every champion and not just once play it three against three four five times and that is going to take about a year really because some champions are not popular so yeah don't rush into it learn research again for some people they get really confused why they don't climb. You ask, what are they doing about, you know, what are you actually doing to attempt to climb? What work are you putting in? And they say, I just play. I just play ranked. It's like, well, that's that's not enough. <laughs> like, do you think the best football players, golfers, rugby players just play the sport to get better? No, they do research. They watch videos. They, they, they analyze. You got to do the same if you want to get better. Some people will just naturally have it. If you don't naturally have it, you've got to work to it. Um, how tall am I? I'm not very tall. I am five foot eight. Um, I did not inherit the tall genes from my family. Annoyingly, my sister is about five foot five for a female, and that's quite tall for my family uh, in females. My, the normal female in my family is like five foot two. So she like stole three inches from me. If I was five foot 11, that would be pretty good, but I'm five foot eight maybe a little bit taller and i normally wear shoes that like probably make me about 5'10 maybe 5'9 um but yeah like again i don't really care about height i've never cared here's the thing i've never cared about things that i can't um control you know how you look you can control it within reason like, i've cared about my weight because i did that to myself through an injury and feeling quite down for a long time but you know i felt bad about that i still do but I can fix that. I'm trying to fix it. But how I look, you know, my nose or whatever, my hair, other things, you can't control. So there's no real big point caring about them too much. Just let that go. Um, and one of them is height. I can't control my height. <laughs> you know, there's nothing I can do. Um, I don't want to be like Tom Cruise, that if you actually look at the shoes that he's wearing, he wears like platforms. So the same does uh, Robert Downey Jr. Obviously, those guys really care about being short. I kind of just accepted it. You know, I'm the same height, I think, as Robert Downey Jr. and Tom Cruise. They're both 5'8 as well, I believe. Um, but, you know, I put it this way. I'm not as short as Kevin Hart. He's 5'5". Five five, so, <laughs> swings and roundabouts. Um, let's see. What champion should get reworked next? 
is this like a question that I've actually got to think of something like smart and healthy for the game or personal? Because uh, if I go personal, Zoe, Zoe should be the next one to get reworked, <laughs> even though she's relatively new. There you go. Um, hmm. uh, any chance you'll play GTA Online in the near future? I've always wanted to play a lot of that game, but my friends aren't interested. I love GTA Racing. I watch so much many YouTube videos of GTA GTA Online. You know, Achievement Hunter, Yogscast, the Vanos Group. I've always watched GTA Online videos, but I've just I've I own it. I've played about a hundred hours, but never with really a group. Um, so I uh, probably not, but who knows? Maybe the future will have different things. Who you know? You never know. Um, next one. Will I continue your old style of commentary, where you would point out little champion interactions in game? And in Champion Select, I miss learning about little things that only come from playing the game a long time. Examples, some jump mechanics, uh, ju some jumps cancel Blitzcrank Hook, CCing Scuttle makes it easier to kill, experience from minions influencing level up, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I've gone more broad in my edu education over the past couple of years because I think that obviously helps more people, but I can do niche things, that's not a problem. Uh, what I'll do, again, we did a recording session today, I might be doing a recording session tomorrow. Um, we can try it in one game and see what people think that I go really into detail about like things that most people don't need to know. And that that's also kind of a reason why I stopped um, doing those is because most people don't need to know that knowledge. Uh, and where that knowledge, a lot of it starts to come into play is high rating. And my audience on average isn't high rating. So that's kind of why I stopped. But we can bring it back if people just kind of find it fun. But yeah. Um, what mid laners would I recommend for newer players? Uh, Annie. Annie's a good stabilized champion that is also good in high rating. Like she's fine. Uh, other than that, Galio's not bad. Oriana, if you're advanced mechanically. Um, yeah, I don't know really what else to be honest. Um, which champion would I say is the most uh, most well designed in game? Well, we made a video, the actual video that I'm recording, uh, the the video that came out today that I'm now recording, uh, the Oriana. Oriana to me is potentially League's best champion. Um, what I meant by that, which I'm I'm hoping people got, was Oriana is never bad. She's never controversial. She's skilled. You have to be skillful to play her. She can work in every meta. She excels, you know, in team fights, obviously, but she's good in one v ones. She can protect a team. She can scout locations with her Q. Like, it's hard to kind of say what, what's wrong with that champion. And the reason why I say potentially her is because there are people will throw different champions at me, but most of them you could probably pick holes at. Where's the hole in Oriana? There isn't one. She's just good. Like, it's that simple. So, yeah, probably Oriana. Uh, and that is probably it, if I'm honest. So what I'd say is remember to follow the Instagram. If you've got any more questions, put them in the comments section below. While the video is coming out, I will be in the comments answering them, throwing hearts and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I will say this episode is an Instagram one. Again, we'll be giving some Papercraft and Nivea's directly on um, Instagram. The next Q&A we do will be a Snapchat special. Again, follow my Snapchat. Huzzy Games will also be giving away some Papercraft and Nivea's exclusively on my Snapchat too. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Like, subscribe. See you guys next time. See ya.